and I be like Young Zachary. Tell me what it do. You know what it is. Hey, hey, hey. And I be like Young Zachary. Talk it. Tell me what it do. Man, you know what's going down, man. Let the people, for those who are absolutely clueless, they never heard of you, let the people know where you from and, and, and how you got in the game. If y'all that don't know me, I go by Tuffy or Tuffy, don't know what I'm saying? MHMG Honcho. I'm from Sula, Merlin. All the DMV, you know what I'm saying? DMV. All the way back to H-Town. Yeah. So, so, what, so what brings you out here to, to Texas, to the South, man? You know, that's a long way from Maryland. Man, I just came out here, I was on tour, did some shows, and just the vibe, the people just embraced me. Yeah. So I just felt like I had to come out here to yeah. spread the culture, what we got going on where I'm from. And yeah. Them, so. Yeah, I know, like, you know, I'm I'm a big DJ out here, a collegiate DJ. I do a lot of events, you know, from, from, from 8 to 80, you know what I'm saying? So... I know one of the biggest artists that I've known from the DMV area is like Wale. You got Shy Glizzy. I mean, um, you got any connection with those people? Yeah, like both of those my homies. Like yeah. Shy Glizzy manager Benny, that's my homie. He okay. Who my uh, cousin that's locked in the feds right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Then Wale, you know what I'm saying? That's my homie too. He okay. Got some, songs with some of my big homies in the rap mm. game that I, I came up under. So so are are they are they really from out their way too or what? I mean, did you ever run into them like growing up or? Yeah, not, um, not necessarily growing up. Yeah. We, we I mean, was they was age. they yeah was they music influential though? Yeah, uh, like, back home. Yeah, like Wale, he came out like they was listening to Wale. Yeah. But then we didn't really. He won like a Glizzy though. Yeah. We more so Gliz is Glizzy like more home team. Yeah, like yeah. they both home team, but we related to Glizzy more like. When Glizzy came out, I think I was probably in ninth grade or some shit. Okay. Like so, we really watched Glizzy blow up, like his whole shit. Yeah. Okay. 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 So I mean, both yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Wale, you know, he had he had a pretty big movement, you know, and he really put on for the DMV. I yeah, know Glizzy, did. you know, Glizzy, you know, he really came. With, see, I I was on that funeral. I was on all of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was really fucking with Shy Glizzy. Yeah. Um. You know, before that, though, like, yeah, even before that, yeah, yeah. So I mean, as you know, man, you know, change, snap, change. You know, a lot of people doing a lot of stuff for clout, man. None of that shit. I, I, <laughs> none, none of that. that. None of that shit fly. Anybody yeah. that want to be want to test the waters, don't even. Yeah. yeah, we ain't let none of that shit fly. We ain't gonna do too much talk about it. <laughs> we ain't gonna let none of that shit fly. Ain't none, ain't none of that happening. Okay, so so what was your first big break as far as your song? Like, what song really took you to that point where it's like, I think I got something. I think I can make it in this game. Uh, my first single I, uh, I put out on a professional level was a song I had called Hold Up, produced by a homie from Atlanta called Ivy Leaguer. Okay. Um, shit. It was like my 12th grade year. Okay. When in the summertime, get a studio session, book like 10 hours. I record like 20 songs. And like Hold Up was like one of the songs I just recorded. So my manager come in and like, nigga, you recorded 20 songs. You just work on a couple songs and try yeah. to perfect them. Yeah. I was like, nigga, I got the single right here, played it. Motherfucking, he was feeling that shit. Shipped it out to the radio. And they had like a, a school tour coming up. And they threw me on that hole. That was my first show. Okay, yeah, so crazy. so the hold up. So is that is that? I mean, before we started this interview, I know you showed me some footage of. I seen like some some kids like middle school, high school going crazy over yeah, you. Like, so, like, I mean, it's, it's it looks like you got a big following, like like Shy Glizzy and uh, Wale back home, man. Yeah, like, they go crazy. Like, I could pull up to their school or just about to somewhere like they run into me and take yeah. pictures. Well, sometimes like, they really be scared to even speak for real because they don't yeah. even believe I be be that close to them or some shit like yeah. that. Okay, okay, okay. So outside of that, I mean, what new project are you working on? I mean, I know you spoke on, you say you got a, a new project with um, Marley G. It's called... Yeah. Uh, Twin Glocks. Twin Glocks. I was going to say Double Towers. I don't know why I was going to say that. Yeah. But yeah, Twin Glocks. I mean, so what What else can we expect? I mean, um, Marley G, what you rap a lot? I mean, what's the affiliation? Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? That's all family. Rap a lot, montage. Yeah. Uh, my shit, uh, MHMG, Marley shit, MGM. Yeah. Like, we all united as one. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? As a family. Yeah, how many how many joints I got on there? Cause I listened to uh I listened to Martin New Project. He got, I like that song. It's just uh yeah. 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 I fuck with that motherfucker. Yeah. Like when I heard that song, like bro, this shit. Yeah, rock, bro. Yeah, hey, yeah. Like, I mean, cause y'all got see. I mean, see, Marley from Louisiana. You from the DMV, but y'all out here in Houston. I mean, like 
how do you how do you still with not being home like you not you don't actually stay back home how do you still bring that culture and that and that DC that DMV culture to your music I mean how do you keep it alive cuz like the way we talk yeah our lingo so it's like I try to use some of our lingo on my songs yeah or just the way I rap or the way I dress yeah it's stand out yeah people know I'm like oh he not from here yeah and like same thing with Marty like his shit you can tell bro not yeah. from it, but the DMV embraced bro just how Louisiana embraced me with him. Yeah. So it was like, it was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, y'all got, y'all got, y'all got a nice movement, man. I mean, um, the new wave, Montage, I mean, Junior. I mean, I seen you out there in South by Southwest. You was doing yeah. real big, you know. You had a lot of events, shows, and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, what you, South you, South you got management. I mean, um, what's, what's your, what's your current situation? You uh, labels looking at you. I mean, I know you getting some looks. Yeah, shit. We got some situations talking. I'm under management right now. Yeah. But as far as um, labels and shit, you know, they be calling. I'm just really trying to stay independent. Yeah. I'm saying, cause I know what I got. Yeah. So unless they come in with a super bag, I'm staying dependent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So explain, explain the money hunger. I mean, what is that? What's that show? That show team. That show. That show fam. My, my shit, like my label, my everything. Like I started this shit, like middle. Yeah. No, nah, I'm middle school, high school. Yeah. I was throwing parties with um, cause my homies and shit. Yeah. And it was called Money Hunger Entertainment. So we was throwing like. Project, like when Project S came out, we came out like Project MHE. Yeah. Throwing big ass parties, like crazy shit. Okay, okay. Now, and now this part of the interview, we, now these are questions that we just gotta know. The people gotta know. Man, are you, are you in the streets? I mean, keep it all the way G with us. Man. How did you get your buzz? I mean, was, was you just a class clown? Did, was you always rapping? Were you in the streets? What, what we gotta know. Okay. Tell us what it is. Shit. I was young. I was doing what I did. I got into my trouble and shit. Yeah. I wasn't like in and out of jail, none of that shit. I'm yeah. Saying. I was moving smart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But as far as my buzz, shit, just being out, being around, being active, like being everywhere. Okay. Everywhere. And the DMV is small. Yeah. So like, wherever this, whatever was the play or the scene, the yeah, he was there. And how it went. Like, Okay, and so and so, like I said, we gotta know. Do you feel like your your affiliation with 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 the mob and rap a lot? Do you feel like that that helped you? You got an advantage over another rapper that just woke up and said, "I'm on, I want to rap." Nah, because it don't mean I still got work. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause just cause I could be with a million dollar nigga and he, and it could be somebody else that rap. Yeah, and I'm bullshit. And they yeah. gonna go with the nigga that's not bullshit. Yeah, see, that's what matters at the end of the day. Okay, okay, okay. And so, also, I mean, with your music, um, and as far as you uh, putting it out and stuff, I mean, what platforms can these people find you at? Like, are you on Spin Real? Are you only on SoundCloud? Um, you only because I know I see like Jacquees, he dropped a new project. It was only on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So, where where could your music be found at? Yeah, Apple Music, um, Spotify. Yeah. Spinrilla. So you ain't got no exclusive deal with like live mixtapes or nothing like that. Now, right now, we dropping like all the exclusives through like Spin Rilla. Okay, okay. We ain't dropping through Spin Rilla. I might drop some throwaways on SoundCloud type yeah. shit. Just like for the fans, them songs probably don't even get promoted. Yeah. But like, if the fans won't go fuck with that shit. Okay, and it's, I mean, like, as far as your inspiration and stuff, like, as far as your family and the people that you started out with, I mean, who are some of those people that are influential in your career that you could never forget, you know what I'm saying? And, and they and they mean a big part to your career and your music. Yeah. My family shit, my pops. My dad was like the first nigga who who bought me my like my studio shit with like my microphone. He is first, he, is he still back home or he yeah, out he here? Back home. Okay. Like so nigga, when I first started I was really rapping on like a laptop type shit. Okay. Webcam. So I told the nigga I wanted to rap. He was like thought I was bullshit and so <laughs> I'm gonna buy you a mic and just see what you do. So I took that shit. Yeah. And, they thought it was a phase. Out. Yeah, so they thought it was a phase type shit like Yeah. Even through high school, they thought that shit was like a phase. All, yeah, everybody. Was I like, mean, it's, it seems like you you got a big buzz in in high school. If if I'm gathering this right, I mean, so do you have you ever went back to your high school that you originally went yeah. to? Yeah. I pulled up to like a football game and shit. Chili was shit was crazy, car. like homecoming and shit. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't even homecoming. It was a regular game. Yeah, it was like a home game. I pull up, motherfucking. I'm still in school. Like I'm 12th grade, but I go to another. I had went to another school. Yeah. So they got pull up. Chili just chasing my car and shit. 
I just had grabbed a little coop. Yeah. Like this coop, so. Uh, yeah, man, I know out there is crazy, man. And um, you know, we expecting big things out of you. Um, before we get out of here, man, let the people know your all your social medias, where they can find you, where they can tune in to you at, Snapchat, Instagram, MySpace, take it back, however you wanna do it. Everything. You can find me on everything. Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram at Tuffy Doe, YouTube, Tuffy Doe, Apple Music, Tuffy Doe, Twin Glocks out now. I'll get my new single, uh, Steppin' with Molly G and Black Youngster. Yeah. Big facts on the way. Yeah. A lot of new shit on the way. Yeah. Block 22 on the way, too. Yeah, y'all already know what it is. Before we get out of here, man, let the people know who you rocking with. Who? What's the DJ you rocking with right now? Who you locked in with right now? Man, I'm locked in with Lil Zach the DJ. Boop, boop, boop. Montage and MHMG, MGM shit, you know what I'm saying? Long live Fly Brandon. Freeville, you dig? Yeah, y'all know what it is. Oh. Uh.